What the fuck? Wow, it one shot at me. <laughs> What's up agents, Patrick Wolf here. Welcome to another Division 2 video. Today's video is gonna be focused around the Achilles Pulse. We have just received it. You need to finish the final manhunt Fei Lao. I'm not gonna give any spoilers in this video. I wanna go through the Achilles Pulse in detail with regards to PVP. PVE will be further on later in the week. I'm gonna do a bit more testing. There's so many variants and different build ideas that I have, but today we're gonna to focus on PVP. This skill is one of the best skills in the game for damage. It's unbelievably strong, and I'm going to showcase that to the best of my ability. So let's go through the Achilles Pulse. Once you have obtained this, uh, we're going to read through it and so you have an idea of how this actually operates. Then I will showcase it to you guys. Target a single enemy with a pulse, which identifies weaknesses. Now, in PvP, when a player is in front of you, he needs to be in your line of sight. And then it'll show a little icon which button you need to push and then you can actually activate it and they stay pulsed for a couple of seconds. It's very, very strong. Um, it identifies weaknesses. So it, in the firing range, you guys will notice the cardboard cutouts only have two weakness, two weak spots basically. So don't be fooled. Uh, in PvP, you can be highlighted on your shoulders, your elbows, your head, your chest, your legs, all of your legs. It's quite interesting. There's so many different weak points on a player. So let's have a look. So highlights them and causes damage to those areas to take headshot damage. So if you shoot someone in the body, normally it's just normal damage, but there will be like a little area, a little block. And if you shoot that, you take away the health of that area, it will deal headshot damage. And I'll explain exactly how that works. It's more than you actually think it is. So useful for solo snipers, always a support skill. Use a painting targets for your teammates. Now, this is important to take note that if you run a the higher skill tier, it means you will mark more areas of or weak points on a player and this will be really good in pve and in pvp for support build so we'll get into further builds because i have so many ideas for support builds so far so we have got on this build i have currently right now this is actually a, a bad demonstration let's have a look we'll put it back on my shotgun and i can showcase exactly what skill tier we have so if you guys pay attention skill tier one is zone health duration skill haste what is zone health and duration on the on the pulse so what happens is is when you uh, show a zone or when you highlight a player's the, the zone will be highlighted right and if you shoot that zone and let's say for example you need to do 500k damage as it says and you only do like for like 300k damage you would need to shoot another bullet to take away that zone health to dish out the headshot damage so it's important uh, you know you want to go for more damage builds if you don't want to use a sniper so once you've damaged that block it that's the health gone. Now the duration will be how long it lasts on the player. It lasts a couple of seconds in PvP, so it's not too difficult to do. So with a tier one build, this is why I recommend running a tier three build, just so we get this through. So 10% zone health duration skill haste, tier one, tier two is the same thing, just higher amounts or bigger amounts. With tier three, this is where it gets important. It's plus one zones, which means we can dish out twice as much which is really, really important. And then tier four is another one zone, five, one zone, uh, then overcharges, five zones. So you can see where this could be potent in PVE. But for now, this is why I have gone for tier three in PVP, because when I run into somebody with my assault rifle, I'm gonna showcase it to you guys now. I highlight them, I shoot the weak point once, I'm dishing out ridiculous damage off one bullet, and then the rest of the bullets are just gonna be run up on his face and it'll absolutely rip people to pieces. And I'm gonna showcase the damage right now. So now you know how it works. Let's go through one of the builds that I've made. I've made two builds to showcase to you guys right now, an assault rifle variant and a shotgun variant of this. So it's quite important to take note that we've got two yellows for this build. Okay, let's show exactly how this pulse works first and foremost. So we are on, well, currently on heroic on the difficulty. We're going to put this to invulnerable elite. It's important to make sure that we have armor values to get the full idea because normally when you PvP and you shoot players, they're going to have their armor up because health goes down pretty quick. So we're going to bring it up close here. So this build is going to incorporate Intimidate and Adrenaline Rush. Now, just quickly to take reference of how this works is as you guys can see, this little icon will pop up when you see a player in your line of sight. 
So this is how I've noticed the damage numbers are calculated. Well, it is an estimate because they're never really the same. I think there might be variances depending on if you crit, how much multiplications on your build you have. But generally, this is what happens. Okay, so if we shoot to the body and we crit, it's going to be 500, just under 600,000. Okay, so if we shoot to the head, that's about a million damage a crit. So what normally happens is, is when we shoot to the body and we crit, that 600k or 583k is going to be on top of the million damage because it's going to count as a headshot. Now, it doesn't take away the 500k from the, the body shot. It actually adds them together, which is interesting. So you're getting double the damage from this pulse. So if I pulse now and we shoot the body, there's the health. I should do more than enough damage. Uh, as you guys can see, we have done 1.5 million, which is basically then put together. It's not exact, but for, that's how I've noticed the calculations work with this pulse. And obviously I've got in sync on my gun, but I didn't actually proc it in the test. With regards to headshot damage, now it works a bit differently. It still increases, it doubles the amount, but it seems to stack a bit more than what it should be. So if you guys have a look here, we're doing about a million damage there. As soon as we hit the pulse, it's not just going to be, you know, what you would think would be 2 million. It'll be a lot more. So obviously sync has gone now. So that's 2.7. So, you know, generally it would be about 2 million roughly, but that's really escalated the damage. It could be because it's in just editing, sorry, it's, it's just adding the actual uh, baseline crit on top of it as well. That could be the reason. But as you guys can see, from 1 million to 2.7 million a shot, which is just ridiculous. Now, with a build like this, the shotgun build, let me tell you guys something now. I have one shot at players in the legs all, all night. Uh, it's ridiculous. This is going to be very, very powerful in PvP. And I can tell you right now, a lot of players are going to use it the way I'm using it now. So if we have a look at the shotgun, when we proc in sync and we shoot normally, that's 695. Let's try it again. 695. So just under 700k a shot. When we pulse and we crit on each pellet, then you guys can see there. That was 1.3 million and that was many pellets that were critting because all the pellets of the shotgun are counting as that headshot damage at once. So as you guys can see, I, I think this is probably broken in the game because you would think only one pellet would crit. But hey, every single pellet is critting guys. 1.3, 1.3, 1.3 as opposed to 700. So if we try and calculate this damage, let me quickly try and show it to you guys. Like I said, it's sometimes not very accurate, but it seems to be roughly around that area. So if we just do normal proccing in sync on the head, it's about a million damage when we crit with in sync and everything procced. So if we look at the body shots, that's going to be 700,000 plus a million. So you would think it would be 1.7 million. But if we have a look here, it's 1.3, 1.4. So it's close and that's how I think it stacks, like I said previously with the pistol. I think it stacks off of, it counts as a headshot, but it also adds the crit or the baseline damage of what you initially hit with the body as well. So it's increasing both of them. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that, but that's what it seems to be doing, especially with the headshots. So like now, for example, with the shotgun, um, we're doing about a million damage to the head. Now watch what happens when I utilize this pulse and we actually try and aim for the head. That's 2 million damage we just hit there, which is quite ridiculous. Now, with builds like these, I'm going to showcase now an assault rifle build for you guys. Let me just go through the details of the builds. Nothing fancy, but I just wanted to showcase this and just allow you to understand how this works. So we didn't get most of the pellets to actually crit that time, but that was still a lot of damage there as opposed to what we normally have. So 2 million damage from that pellet. So that's really, really, really good. Now with an assault rifle, this is what I was talking about in PvP. When you highlight somebody's body with an assault rifle, because you're dishing out more damage, hitting them in the leg, then hitting them in the head, it'd be beneficial to tap them in the leg and then go for the headshots. And if you do mark a player in the head, uh, then you will have a look and see. Let, let me showcase this to you guys. This, this will interest you. So this is why a lot of players are going to be using this. Because you're probably wondering to yourself, well, Patrick, we can't really, uh, you know, run around shooting people's kneecaps that's a bit cheesy but here's the thing because we have got that three skill tier from technician specialization we have two marked areas on a player 
So a lot of the times we will actually achieve the, the headshot mark, which is what's important. Have a look at the DPS increase. So when we proc in sync and we shoot this target in the head. As you guys can see, it's 6.3 million. Let's do it again just to make sure we've got a correct reading. So it's 6.5 one more time just so we have an average. I'm resetting it constantly because it can be buggy. So it was 6.5. It's about 6.5 million, okay? So let's see with the pulse now. The first shot will be dishing out way more damage because of the mark. So our DPS goes up. 6.8 million so that's way more let's try again to make sure we have a correct reading like last time it's obviously rng elements as well involved 6.8 million so that's hundreds of thousands more damage uh, sometimes you could actually hit over 7 million dps so this is why a lot of players in the on, especially on pc are going to utilize this pulse there we there we go guys 7 million dps 500,000 more dps but then without the pulse so let's go through the two builds now. The shotgun build that you're going to see some gameplay on very shortly. I will showcase a whole bunch of gameplay for the shotgun build and the assault rifle that I'm about to show you guys. So we have got the military M870. This is a very, very nice shotgun. The reason why I use this is because of the one tap capabilities with this pulse. Now have damage charts out of cover in sync. Like I said, th these two builds are not really, you know, perfect builds. This is not a build uh, video per se so i'm just going to go through it very briefly so you can use the super 90 i actually prefer the super 90 because you get rid of the player's shield then the next shot could be one to two tap but the military m870 with this pulse is so incredibly strong now normally with the achilles pulse because you're dishing out headshot damage when you shoot someone in the body or the weak point should i say uh, it's better to you know stack headshot damage but because of the shotguns and the fact that we have multiple pellets that have the potential to crit we want a bit more crit chance and a bit more crit damage as we can receive it for getting up close and personal with the enemy hence the coyote mask this is not the, the perfect way to run this i just wanted to showcase the damage and go through it with you guys so you know more armor could be beneficial you don't have to run the two yellows it's just you know to get that extra mark just to fully demonstrate the pulse that is why i've got the two yellows so what we have done here is get quite a decent amount of crit damage crit chance 56 crit chance 80 crit damage which is quite low but considering the 109 percent headshot damage with a shotgun it's ridiculous you can hit such high numbers on players you can actually one tap someone uh, you're going to see with 1.8 million armor to the to the kneecap which is quite ridiculous even though the stats don't look that impressive uh, you can go through everything else and have a look uh, like i said before we have stacked some crit so with the coyote's mask within 25 uh, sorry within 50 meters we get 25 percent crit critical damage like i said before with shotguns it's more important to crit because there's multiple pellets the more that crit the more damage you're going to be outputting and you know this is best in stock for a shotgun build getting nice close and personal with adrenaline rush and intimidate giving us that 35 percent multiplicative damage so crit chance from the chest guy we've got crit chance there critical hit damage mods and headshot damage mods that's what i've put on this build so we're going to get up close shotgun damage from the backpack badger tough with the chest guy giving us that nice crit chance and then the providence defense which is going to raise our headshot damage now you're probably thinking punch drunk mask that's not as much damage with the shotgun then with the coyote mask the coyote mask will give you more damage per crit if you're not critting then it would be better to run the punch drunk mask but that's obviously for something completely different which we will delve into in a later date so once you have got these pieces then obviously yield faithful contractors and fox's prayer with the skill tier i've got headshot damage there and crit chance there with the achilles pulse and the shield so let's go to the assault rifle build this is something i've mainly run with this so we've got the same gloves and knee pads but we've got a grouper holster with crit damage crit chance we've got a, a providence chest for that nice juicy headshot damage more headshot damage rolled on it with crit damage unbreakable very very important and every single modification on the build is going to be headshot damage mods so we've got a lot of headshot damage a lot of utility and we've got a cheska bag with vigilance now that we've added and a fenris mask with more headshot damage and crit chance the backpacks also got crit chance and crit damage which you could roll away for headshot damage vigilance is what i chose because something like um backpack talents that give that you know go off of headshot damage this is actually quite important to take note of i almost forgot about this so concussion does not proc it doesn't count as a headshot uh 
when you actually get a headshot damage from uh, hitting the weak point on a, on a player. If you shoot the head, then it will count. But if you shoot, like, for example, his kneecap to get the proc of the Achilles Pulse, it will not count as a concussion. So that's why I've gone for Vigilance for just more damage. There's a multitude of talents you could actually utilize. I just wanted to go for that. Because with this build, I want to try to dish out as much damage as possible without getting hit. So we've got Unbreakable, obviously, because it's yield faithful also headhunter does not work with this pulse you can't shoot someone in the leg and then get headhunter to proc when you get a kill it only works when you actually hit the player in the head but it would still be beneficial as like i showed earlier you still dish out a lot of damage when you hit a head it multiplies off of the achilles pulse as well with this assault rifle build if you take a look at some of the statistics you'll have a look and see what i mean so we've got 51 percent crit chance 124 percent crit damage and just under 150 percent headshot damage which is what the Achilles will be going off of. And 19% armor damage is pretty decent. So the capacitor is something that I wanted to demonstrate to you guys how powerful this weapon actually is. 91k base, 700 RPM. Look at the Eagle Bearer. 91.4, pretty similar. And it's just ridiculous because it doesn't showcase all the damage that we will be doing uh, with the extra yellows for each yellow or skill tier gain 7.5 percent weapon damage so we are hitting very hard over 360k or just under 400k a bullet when we hit someone in the body per crit which is ridiculous so definitely give this a try i recommend it obviously the military m 70 as well with the card 45 so let me demonstrate on heroic it says at the top left hard but it is currently on heroic it doesn't really matter but we got elite right here let me showcase to you guys the actual differences in damage so if we have a look, because we have a lot of armor, extra armor damage on the capacitor, which has got 11% damage to armor, which is very, very strong. If we have a look here, so per headshot, we are critting 617k. Let's see with the pulse and try to get a crit. 617 to 1.5 million. That's the difference. And remember, that goes off the bat as soon as you start fighting someone, which is a lot of damage, more than double. So if we have a look at the body shot now, that's just under a million, where it normally is 371k. So if you take a look, the normal headshot's 600k, plus about, it's, let's round it off to about 400. So that's about a million. So like I said before, I'm not entirely sure how it scales off of it. But if you have a look, guys, we do about 900k. So it'd be 6, 7, 8, 9. So as you can see, from the normal crit to the head, they've added it on top of what we already hit to the body, which equates to around 900,000. So it makes sense if you see that from that my perspective or from the numbers perspective. So let me know in the comments if you guys do understand exactly how it works. But the damage we can obtain from this is actually really, really strong. And I want you guys to give this a try. Try get this pulse as soon as you can. So if you have a look at the DPS, we are hitting 5 million DPS. Let's try again. That's 6 million DPS right there. One more time. 6.1 million, then with the pulses, 7.3 million DPS. Ridiculous. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Are you going to try this out? Are you looking forward to more builds? I have a lot in store and planned for the future. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll be seeing everybody in the next video. Enjoy the gameplay, guys. Peace out. Detected. An agent needs assistance.
Nobody's pulling out. The fight goes on. Halfway to the finish. There are no more rogue reinforcements. I'm sending you a specialization supply drone. 